uh, one more time. Catherine uh, has written this. As far as I can see, the only privacy setting is whether anyone can join or whether you have to invite or accept invitations. So this is uh, a question about Microsoft Teams. And uh, she's got a concern that students have been trying to join one of their staff teams. And we need to um, see if there is a privacy setting available that will stop this from happening. Um, the answer is yes, there is. And you need to uh, make sure that you set your teams appropriately when you create them. You can adjust them later on to turn a public team into private, but it is a setting that you do need to apply and a lot of people don't. Um, to give you an example of this, uh, here I am in my Microsoft Teams. I've got it set in grid view and I'm a member of lots and lots of teams. Um, but there is a team in here, for example, called Teams for Yammer users, and that is purposely been set as a public team. So where do you find that uh, in the settings? I'll just move out of the way here. Um, in here, you've got an option that says edit team. You've got to be the manager of the team or the admin of the team to see this. Um, so it's called Teams for Tab Yammer Users, and it says here that it's public. Anyone in your organization can join, uh, as opposed to the other option, which is private. Only team owners can add members. This is the recommendation for every team within the Department of Education where you don't want people to just randomly be able to try to join your team. So make sure that your teams are set to private and the place to do that is under the three dots in edit team. If you're actually in a team, it's the three dots over here and edit team. If you're in manage team, you can also get to it at the top here, three dots and choose the option to edit team. And that is where you can say whether it's public or whether it's private. Now, what's the concern about being public? Um, public is not public to the world. It's public to everybody in the Department of Education. 2,200 schools, lots and lots of corporate offices across the whole state of New South Wales. So if I go in back to Teams to this top level, I could go to try and join or create a team. <clears throat> Here is where I can create a team. I can join teams with a code. So if a, if a school um, or a person has created a team and they've generated an option to create a code, they can email a code out to people and then you can use that code to join that team directly. Um, that's a really good way of initially setting up the number of people in your team that you want to have there. But as soon as you've got the people that you want, the, the right attendance, the right participants in your team, you really do need to remove that code uh, from the setting so that uh, if that email doesn't get passed on to others and others can then join at a later stage. But over here on the right hand side, you've got search teams. If I type in the letter B, for example, and do a search, what I'll find, <clears throat> it's just uh, searching through a lot of teams. There's a whole lot of teams in here that are listed as public and they're showing up. So Blacktown Festival of Performance, um, Performing Arts, that's a team that maybe they want to be public but I'm guessing it probably should be just schools that are around the Blacktown area, probably. BHGHS team, I'm not sure what that is. Bay Community of Schools, Brisbane Water Learning Community, Biology Year 11 2020. I'm sure that this is not a team that should be public. Um, Bellingen Public School, it's a public team. It shouldn't be public. Binaway Central School staff team should not be public. So these school, these teams should all jump in there. The owners of them should all jump in and change their teams to private. Otherwise, anyone random like me is going to be able to come in here and attempt to join these teams, BPS Stage 3 staff, BPS Stage 2 staff, etc. They should not be public teams, Bronte staff and so on, um, because these um, people are a closed group, so their team should be closed. I hope that helps um, clarify some things. I'll just show you very quickly where that team code stuff was. If I jump back into um, manage team from teams for Yammer users, there's an option in here under settings where you can go and get a team code. You can generate it and then you can retrieve or, or cancel it when it's finished. Don't keep a team code active uh, for longer than you need it to be active. 
you can bring them up on the fly to share, to add, to allow other groups of people to join, but turn it off when you don't need it. Hope that's all been a help to uh, make sure that you set up your teams correctly. Uh, and yeah, just revisit the settings that you've applied when you first created your team. See you later.